In 2017, McLaren staked a new claim in the supercar territory with the 720S. This was a vehicle unlike any other that the automaker had produced previously, bringing new levels of aerodynamic downforce, performance, and handling to the game. So here we are almost seven years later in the successor to that 720S, and it's called the 750S. Now, although it may look very similar to the 720 from the outside, there are a number of engineering changes underneath this beautiful slinky skin to make it even faster and better to drive on a daily basis. As you can see, I'm geared up for a pretty fun drive in the 750S, but before we do, let me give you a few numbers. It's got a four liter turbocharged V8 making a stout 740 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. It weighs just 2,815 pounds, which is a very welterweight, svelte vehicle for this class of supercar. And it also is 65 pounds lighter than the 720S that it replaces, as well as 200 pounds lighter than our rear-wheel drive Lamborghini Huracan Technica, and 450 pounds lighter than the plug-in hybrid Ferrari 296 GTB. Now again, those are all numbers. Numbers don't count for much. So let's go out onto Estoril and have a good time. ramp up the performance. It is a little bit damp out, so we're gonna be kind of careful while we drive. Yeah, there we go. Late, late apex, or I uh, turned in too early on that one. Oh, here we are through turn four, I think. This is a very late apex. alterations between the 750 and the 720 is an incredible exhaust system that just sounds absolutely brutal. Whoa, yep, chicanes. Bungled that one real bad. <laughs> this is my 11th lap of Estoril and I have had such a hard time on that corner complex. But let me just tell you, it's through no fault of the car whatsoever. The 750S has such a live and very, very snappy steering. It's absolutely brilliant to drive quickly, and it feels very nimble and uh, it turns in really sharp. Everything about it is just kind of custom tuned to make sure that you're having a really good time as well as making a really great lap time. Best of all, all of this track day performance doesn't come at the expense of everyday usability. The 750S feels wonderful on the open road. Earlier today, they let us take it out in the road surrounding Estoril Racetrack, and even over cobblestones and broken pavement, it rides beautifully, and it steers with tons of authority. There's just a lot of feedback that comes through, but at the same time, it doesn't rattle you to bits. It just feels like a really enjoyable, entertaining sports car when you're out on the road while maintaining hypercar levels of performance out on the track. Now I'm gonna shut up, and you guys are gonna see exactly how much work I need to do to keep up with the 750S while my fantastic instructor tells me what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. Let's have some fun. I w so I really do wish that we, we would have had the camera rolling in the first few, gear, first, uh, first few laps because this car is so much faster than I am ever going to be. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I appreciate you kind of being patient with me and helping me uh, figure out the trick of the trade. All right, I'm out of the car. I had a great time out on the track. Let's just 
take a moment to pause and observe the beauty of the 750S. Now, enhancements compared to the 720S aren't immediately apparent. From several feet away, you probably won't even notice that there's anything different at all. But once you get closer, you can tell that the front fascia has been revised and there's a deeper front splitter for improved aerodynamics. What's more, even though this car has the carbon fiber eye socket, you can get body color if that's more your speed. I drove a Spider earlier today that was optioned with us and it looked fantastic. Moving around the side of the car, you can see that there's some aero enhancing ribs on the front fender that are borrowed from the 765 LT and they look great here just as well as they do there. McLaren's double door skins look fantastic as well and you access the car through this handle right here which really cleans up the side appearance and then around the back you also get a larger deck lid spoiler that again provides more downforce as well as a reshaped engine grille that gives better cooling and this new high mounted exhaust system that looks like it's borrowed from the long tail and the cars like the Senna and the P1. Now this has also been re-engineered to give you that thrilling sound that you heard out there on the track. And if you go for a spider, you also get a drop down rear backlight that channels that noise beautifully right into the cabin. Now, as you might expect, those enhancements don't come cheap. The 2024 McLaren 750S starts at $324,000 compared to its predecessor's $305,000 base price. But if you absolutely have to have the absolute most in refinement and performance, your money is very well spent on this car because it feels tighter, more composed, and more enjoyable in a daily drive while also being an absolute face melter on a difficult track like Estoril. Even though it is a comprehensive enhancement of the 720S, the McLaren 750S is sure to go down in history as one of the automaker's best balanced sports cars. I had a great time driving it today. I hope you had a great time watching. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Threads, X, and TikTok for more. Thanks so much for watching.